Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Trey Edward Schultz. It comes at night um, in 2017. Um, so this is a film that um, you know I watched yesterday for the first time, and uh, you know I didn't expect too much. Um, you know it's got 6.2 in IMDb, um, which you know I don't always of course go by that, but yes, you know it's, it's not very a successful film. Um, you know in terms of that, not popular. Um, it is critically <coughs> pretty uh, critically. Well received, um, there's no denying that, but um, most people that have seen the film, you know, don't like it too much and, um, you know, I, I, I kind of um, went in with pretty low expectations, um, but, you know, I thought it could, maybe it could surprise me because, you know, um, Darren Aronofsky's um, mother um, really did surprise me and uh, that's a film that <coughs> most fans um, do not like. Um, they say it's awful and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I, I went in thinking, yeah, there's a good chance I could... Now, Joe Edgerton um, is in this film as Paul. He's the main character, <coughs> main protagonist of the film. And um, you've got some other um, characters as well, but it is a very small cast of characters here. And um, basically, yeah, it's a horror mystery um, thriller. And um, I didn't really know <coughs> what to expect with this in terms of how, you know, what it's going to be, what, you know, what it's going to explore. Um, you know, I just saw the poster, really. Honestly, I, that's all I saw. And... Um, yeah, it's really different to what um, you know it seemed you know, at first. Um, I didn't think it'd be at all like this, um, and I'm not going to say if that's for you know in good or bad way yet. Um, but I will say that um, you know the basic plot is it's, it's an outbreak film. You know, a virus is outbroken. Um, basically, these the, these two main families are involved in the film, <clears throat> and they're basically trying to um, trying to stay alive and survive. You know, it's just. It's a survival film, and uh, you know it's just what I would compare it to is maybe um, you know, and that's it's, it's not as good as this, but The Last of Us, um, you know, the game The Last of Us, <coughs> it's very much like that, um, and as well you've got you know a great episode of The Walking Dead, um, it's kind of like that. So you know, I don't quite you know after seeing it, um, the only thing I can count it down to is the ambiguity nature of the film, um, but really I don't see quite see how it's this divisive, um, <clears throat> you know, I can understand, you know, if people don't like it, that's fine, but this controversial, um, because I don't think it does anything that um, really could, 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 could do this, you know, I don't think, um, you know, it's anything, uh, you know, not in a bad way, anything, you know, too, not something that we've never seen before, um, and, you know, really, it just, it focuses on the characters and the atmosphere, um, you know, I don't see how, it's offensive in any way, you know, it's the violence is, is, is done in a way that is human, um, <clears throat> it's realistic, um, and, you know, I just, I don't quite get it, you know, I think, I, I just don't get it, um, and after seeing it, I can call it a masterpiece, um, you know, this film absolutely blew me away, um, really um, shocking how good this film was, and um, basically, yeah, I think it's just a thoroughly human film, um, you know, performances are great, um, really, from everyone, Involved, um, I just loved how this, <coughs> you know, how it was told, the story. Um, it's just quite wonderful, actually. Um, fairly human, as I say. It's got its uplifting moments, um, but it is, of course, a very dark tone. And uh, it's basically six people, um, you know, the main characters of the film. Uh, there's a dog in the film as well. But yeah, um, there's a couple of survivors in the film that they come across. But basically, the rest of the film is, is these two families um, kind of surviving together. And, um, you know... It's just an exploration, you know, of, of life. Um, very, very moving film, um, very human film, patient film, and, um, you know, masterfully crafted um, for the most part. And, um, you know, it's, it's got just stunning performance, a wonderful script, um, and <clears throat> really throughout the entire film, I think the tone is just um, fairly consistent. And, um, you know, it just, um, it really does elevate as well um, through all the elements. Performances, uh, you know, just so good in this film. Um, the script, as I say, is wonderful. Um, now, I can understand, you know, <coughs> at times how people would not, you know, they would expect more. Um, and I just say that really for the fact that um, it doesn't answer the questions that you want it to answer. Um, when I say that, I mean really nothing is explained really at all. Um, in the sense that, you know, the outbreak, the reason for the outbreak, um, you know, the actual 
saying really the specifics. Um, there's no, there's no actual, you know, you can't actually. There's no point where you see the the kind of um, the contact and the, the kind of exchange of the virus. Uh, in that sense, it's all done kind of off screen, you could say. Um, and you know, there is of course <clears throat> many many points where um, one of the characters sees uh, different things through dreams, <clears throat> you know, and um, you know it's not explained. And uh, you know it's kind of very ambiguous. Um, Kelvin Harrison plays Travis, um, and he you could say is the main character as well as uh, Paul. Um, now his character of Travis, I absolutely loved. Um, I think he was one of the <coughs> best characters in the film. Um, just a great character, one that I really rooted for, cared for, and um, you know you kind of see a lot of the events through his eyes um, throughout the film, and um, it's just um, you kind of. It's done in such a uh, you know a sincere way, um, and you know he's just he's an absolutely wonderful character, um, and I just think the dynamics of the groups um, that form just makes for such a you know wonderful film, um, constantly engaging, um, and the atmosphere that the, the kind of the director um, shots builds um, is really really something else. Um, you know this is a horror, this is a thriller, um, you know built for atmosphere, atmosphere, and um, you know there's no you know there is some jump scares in there, um, but they're not cheap. They're not throughout the entire film, and um, you know they're actually very very effective. Um, and there's that there's the kind of dread around them. Um, it's not just you know, jump scare for the sake of it. Um, you know, and it's kind of done in a context um, that you kind of believe. Um, now, the beginning of the film, um, you know, I, <clears throat> I think was really 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 great. Um, and basically, slowly, gradually built up um, the kind of the kind of story here. Um, and just I think all the camera moves and this set the set the tone of the film, um, the kind of gradual pace, the flow of it, um, and it was put you in a state, um, and it really remains there for the rest of the film. Um, you know, the drama escalates, um, <clears throat> you know, as the film goes on, but really the flow of it, you know, the editing, everything like that, um, is consistent throughout the entire film, and it's wonderful. Um, you know, the cinematography in this film is stunning. You know, I, I can actually I can see a lot of inspiration um, it takes. Influence, um, you know, the Tree of Life has actually had on a lot of films, <coughs> you know, and this being one of them actually. The way that the handheld handheld um, cameras are used, um, the kind of spontaneous uh, way, you know, um, just to kind of give it in the moment feel, and actually masterfully builds the tension. Um, you know, of course, uh, quite a lot of long takes in this film, um, and <coughs> you know, definitely not too much um, static shots you could say throughout the film. And it's used um, to great effect. Um, I think, really, in terms of a horror, um, through filmmaking, this is just great. It is masterful. Um, now, the characters I've said um, really all great. Um, I felt <coughs> everything for all the characters in this film. Um, I think, you know, the two kind of um, the character of Travis and of course Paul um, are the best characters. You know, as well, you know, the character of Will. Um, you know, it was absolutely great in this film, and you know, at first I didn't quite um, know what it was about, um, and you could say really because of the the nature of the film, nothing is really fully explained. But you know, it really became a character who I cared for um, a lot, and um, it's just great dialogue, um, scenes of great dialogue um, in this film. You know, character moments that um, really made me feel a lot, and you know, it's just um, wonderfully shot, um, edited, um, the direction is stunning. Um, I do have, um, you know, a, a flaw, and really it's just the one flaw, and it takes it down a percentage um, for what I would have given it. And really, you know, I, I love films that don't explain everything. Um, a great example of that a film I've reviewed uh, recently that does that well, <coughs> does that perfectly, is Nocturnal Animals. Um, but there is sometimes, you know, in cinema where you need something, um, <coughs> and, um, you know, it's kind of at times, it can be a point where. I guess to where um, you just feel, you know, they've, they've gotten off of it, they've not explained it all, they've not given really anything um, in a certain moment of the film um, where they, I think they should have, um, to make it a, a more complete film, um, and, you know, I think um, it's not an absolutely perfect film throughout, um, as well, you know, one of the performances, um, <clears throat> there's a scene where, you, you know, it's not absolutely great, um, so it's not an absolutely flawless film. But the one that the thing that takes the percentage off uh, combined with that is the fact that the ending um, it just doesn't quite come together, um, and that it's not a way that you know it leaves you with something you know where you're kind of thinking. 
it doesn't really leave you with anything um, <coughs> at all um, in terms of the ending. Um, now I expected a bit more, um, and I just felt, you know, from some some of the films that it was building up, uh, you know, in the film, um, just some things uh, here and there that never fully explained at all. And um, you know, I just I think they should have been. Uh, it would have made it a more complete film. Um, <coughs> you know, not necessarily to do with the actual outbreak. Um, just a few other things that I won't get into because it'd be plot spoilers. Um, but yeah, basically, it just wasn't quite a flawless film, and it was a one that, you know, the final act was stunning. Um, you know, visually, emotionally, um, and you know, in terms of, <coughs> you know, the stakes and, and what happened there. But it didn't quite in that final act and in that ending come together in the way that I think if it you know if it had done it would have been 100% what I give this film is a 99% um, I think it's a masterpiece a slightly flawed one um, and a one that doesn't quite get full marks from me but an absolutely wonderful film um, this was really a shocker um, a real surprise um, you know I did not think I'd give this film a masterpiece rating um, you know I didn't think it'd be that good um, but it was it's a film I loved you know, it, makes you, it edges into my 500 favourite films list. Um, not too high, but it's on there for now. And, um, you know, it's a film that I'd highly recommend um, to anyone. You know, I think... Um, but then again, <clears throat> you know, not a lot of people actually do like it. Um, and I just guess I'm one of the people that, that actually do love the film. Um, you know, it's not popular at all. I can't quite see why it's so divisive. Um, you know, it's fine if you don't like it. Um, maybe it's not for everyone, but um, to be this divisive... Um, the only thing I can think of is, is the way it's very, very ambiguous. Um, but there's a lot of films that are like that and, um, you know, not had this much, um, maybe hate, um, and this much, <coughs> you know, kind of controversy. Um, because really it's, it's just a, it's a fairly human film um, with characters that I overall just loved. Um, you know, it just uh, wonderfully directed, shot, edited. Um, the script is, is something that's truly meaningful, um, you know, and it's just, <coughs> as well, realistic dialogue um, that I just... I got invested with really everyone in the film, um, from start to finish, um, thoroughly compelling. Just um, the tension that is built and maintained, um, the atmosphere is just dripping um, throughout this film. <coughs> Every frame really is, is, is full of it, full of atmosphere. Um, I think just an absolutely wonderful um, directed film. Um, really want to check out more of this uh, guy's work. Um, and just anything he, he does in the future, um, really something else. and. Um, Completely surprised me, um, you know, it's not quite perfect, um, I, I wouldn't give it full marks as I say, but it does get my 99% rating, um, and I absolutely love the film, um, yeah, so thanks for watching my review, and um, yeah, I, I just think um, a very, very underrated film, um, of course I can understand at times here and there people will be put off a bit, but um, I don't quite see how it's this divisive, um, <coughs> this kind of um, unpopular um, but yeah, there we go. That's my opinion. Um, you know, I love the film personally, and um, would highly recommend it. You know, as always. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my review of It Comes at Night.